Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Akshay Srinati Kripa from Informatica GCS. In this video, I will be showing you on how you can capture the REST API request and response when using IACS REST V2 connection. The agenda for this meeting would be a quick introduction to IACS REST V2 connection how we can capture REST API request and response, a quick demo, and a few reference articles. IACS REST V2 connection. We use REST V2 connector to interact with web service applications that support REST API. One can use REST V2 connector in a source transformation target transformation or as midstream in a web service transformation. Many a times we might need to look at the REST API request or response in case the IACS task using REST V2 connection fails. We might need to compare this request or response made using REST V2 connector with the successful REST API request or response made outside IACS using any client like Postman or Advanced REST client. This will help us to troubleshoot what went wrong with the request made using IACS. How to capture REST API request and response? It is pretty simple. You will need to log in to IACS, navigate to the administrator console. In the runtime environments page, click on the name of the secure agent using which the task using REST V2 connection runs. In the actions menu, you will see an option edit secure agent. Click on it. Once the secure agent page gets loaded, in the custom configuration details section, click on the plus icon, select the service as data integration server, type as DTM, name as log level, and the value debug. Once you add these entries, save the changes. Wait for the new version of data integration server to come up. Once the new version of data integration server is up, re-trigger the task. The, now the REST API request and response will be captured in the session log of the task. Now let me show you a quick demo on configuring log level debug property at the agent level to capture the REST API request and response for the IACS task that uses REST V2 connection. I have a task here that fetches activity log entries using IACS REST V2 connector. Now I would like to look at the REST API request and response that this task makes. In order to do that, Navigate to the administrator console. Go to runtime environment section. Go to the secure agent using which you have run the task and click on this option edit secure agent. Once you click on this, the secure agent page gets loaded. Now, select the service as data integration server and scroll down. Under custom configuration details, select the service as data integration server, type as DTM and in the name section, type in the value log level and the value for it would be debug. Once you set this property, save the changes. As you can see, 
once you save the page changes the page gets refreshed and you will see a new version of the data integration server starting up so the earlier version was 57.0.3 now the latest version 57.0.7 is starting up as you can see the previous version of data integration server has shut down completely and the latest version is fully up and running now we can navigate to the monitor tab and we can try to rerun the task using rest v2 connection for which we are looking to capture the rest api request and response i'm restarting the job Yeah, now the job has got completed. Now we shall download the session log of the task to view how the requests and the re response looks like. As you can see here in the session log of the task, we'll get to see the entire request that was made to the web service endpoint and the response that was provided by the web service endpoint so say if you are having any uh, task failure because of some entry which has been misconfigured in the query parameter or header section you can compare this request with the request successful request that was made outside iacs to check if it looks exactly the same one other important pointer to note here is that it is advised to set this log level debug property only if you are interested in looking at the REST API's request or response. In general, sometimes if the response is huge, the fi log files which would get generated for each run of the task might also be huge. So, please use this property only for troubleshooting purpose. Once the troubleshooting is over, we advise you to revert back the property. You can remove the log level debug property from the custom configuration section and save the changes made. For more information, you can always look at our Informatica knowledge base and you can also refer IACS REST v2 connector guide. We would love to hear from you. For any feedback or reviews, please write to us on supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also tweet us on InfoSupport. Thank you everyone. Bye.